France has been plagued with scores of young individuals rioting in the streets following the fatal police shooting of a French Algerian 17 year old by the name of Nahel Mazouk. Merzouk, uh, the teenager was shot at close range at Paris's Nelson Mandela Square during a traffic stop just last week. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you always know when we have brand new content so you won't miss a thing. Random things you need to know. I am your host, President Macron of France. It's a mess over here. It's just ridiculous. All right, if you guys are at BitChute watching, thank you for coming back. If you guys are at Rumble watching, thank you for coming back. If you guys are at YouTube watching, thank you for coming back while we have the chance to bring this to you. If you're anywhere else watching, you know, thank you for watching there. It's a lot of stuff going on in France you may not know in America. I know many of you may not even care. We have a lot of stuff going on. It's looking real crazy around here. We've got all, everything is burning up. We've got all these youth rioting. They're doing it for this reason. France has been plagued with scores of young individuals rioting in the streets following the fatal police shooting of a French Algerian 17 year old by the name of Nahel Mazouk. Merzouk, uh, the teenager was shot at close range at Paris's Nelson Mandela Square during a traffic stop just last week. Uh, Nahel Merzouk, 17, who uh, was of Algerian and Moroccan descent, was shot by a police officer during a traffic stop on Tuesday in Paris, in the Paris suburb of Nantier. Uh, I, hope, I, I think I pronounced that right. Uh, here's what we know about him so far. Nahil uh, was still living with his mother, Mou, Mounia, in the Viewpont neighborhood of Nantier, uh, around 15 kilometers from central Paris, according to French newspaper uh, Le Parisien. Uh, it reports that in 2021, he enrolled in a course leading to an electrical qualifications. The teenager was also a member of the Pirates of Nantier Rugby Club and had been part of the integration program for teenagers struggling in school. Ovale Citoyen President Jeff Bunch uh, was quoted by France 24 saying the teenager wanted to make it and had dropped out of school but was no big time bandit uh the rugby club paid tribute to nahil in a facebook post earlier this week and wrote the pirates of nantier and a family and we mourn our brother rest in peace nahil nahil's mother identified as munia m told france 5 television earlier this week that she was angry at the accused officer rather than at police in general he saw a little arab looking kid he wanted to take his life she said the teenager appeared to be a fan of the misraeli rapper jules and appeared in one of his music videos for his song rang nar which was posted on youtube in may Nahil is briefly seen next to the rapper uh, in the frame of the video. The shooting of the teenager caught on video was reignited long-standing complaints by poor and racially mixed urban communities of police violence and racism. Emmanuel Macron had denied this is systemic racism in French law enforcement agencies. A passenger in the car released a video on social media saying that he wants to establish the truth because there is a lot of lies on social media. The officer who shot Nail has been put under formal investigation over a voluntary homicide and is being held in prison in preventive detention. Under the French legal system, being placed under formal investigation is akin to being charged in the UK. All right. So apparently in France, they're having an issue. Uh, they've had a... a a, a non-French citizen or someone who is an immigrant into France has all of a sudden gotten shot by the police and they're claiming that it's all racism. It's all racism. Is there any other? Is there anyone else saying anything that could be different to this opinion? Now, in talking about the, the young man whose life was ended in France, he was neither as his mama claims, an angel who did no wrong, nor was he a devil any more than anyone's portraying him as. 
But here's my question, and this is a question I've always asked when it comes to mass migration. Why do you let people into your country that hate your country? Most Algerians do not speak well of France. Understandably, the French, during the time, post-World War II, did some rather horrific things. They bombed villages, raped men and women, murdered children. And yet, somehow, the left, who were in charge of Europe, let's be straight up honest with you, the EU is run by socialists who are leftists. They let these mass migrants in. And then they tell them they can do no wrong. I know that sounds starkingly familiar for those of you living in America. But Nahil was no innocent. He was illegally driving a car that was not his. Some say it was stolen. Some say it wasn't. He had already come close to hitting two people at 8 a.m. traffic when children are walking to school. So the cop had every right to stop him. No license, vehicle not his, almost committed vehicular manslaughter twice. But y'all, this is the problem I have with the left. They think... Mass migration is the solve for racism. Up until this point, France has been celebrated on its diversity. But as more liberals, socialists, and the political left took over Europe, that's when racism truly became a thing. Now the one thing I have to ask is this. I'm curious to know why are the youth doing all the destruction that they're doing. I understand that they may be upset that this 17 year old had, you know, got ki killed by the police and they may not understand what's going on, but who is instructing them to go out there and do all of this violence? I don't personally believe that when any of these things happen, even when it happened here in 2020 with George Floyd, I don't believe that any of that was just organic. People just went out into the streets and just rioted. I believe that that was all done on purpose there was a purposeful uh method there was a methodology to that it did not happen just organically I believe this either we've almost had this problem for almost two weeks now you mean to tell me that for two weeks these people these youth organized themselves in such a constructive manner to do so much destruction and 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 do it so well Protests emanating from the killing of a teenager in France have spread to Brussels, the Belgian capital. The police arrested about 12 people in connection with the protests Thursday evening. The police say at least one car was set on fire, with several smaller fire extinguished. Youth who seemed desperate for a confrontation with the police damaged street furniture, burning cars alongside. The police had to be deployed in large numbers to take control. They're just all <laughs> together and they've, they're, they're banding together to do this in the name of this man. And then does anybody see a problem? Does anybody see the real root of the issue here? I'm sure many people are watching this and saying, yeah, it's racism, uh, President Macron. That's the problem. Is it racism? Or is it, could it be that you have immigrants coming into the nation? There's already, already a feeling about that amongst the native citizens. You have immigrants coming in. The immigrants may be violating the law, maybe not. Maybe they're having bad interactions with the police. And when those set interactions are happening, you have people doing things like what Nail did, trying to drive her away from the police instead of complying. I'm in France. What the heck is going on here? Franchement, tout ce qui se passe ici, c'est par rapport à l'État. Tout ça. C'est la faute des, des policiers, c'est la faute de l'État. Parce qu'il y a ici en France, il y a trop de racisme. Le racisme, il est au premier degré ici en France. C'est tout ce que j'ai à dire. C'est tout. Pourquoi millions de musulmans immigrés à France 
si France est raciste Eh ben, ils nous ont colonisés 132 ans. Et là, c'est notre tour de venir ici pour... pour, pour euh, comment t'expliquer là Pour... Euh, euh, je n'ai pas trouvé les mots. Ils nous ont colonisés 132 ans. Et maintenant, on va les coloniser à vie, jusqu'à la mort. Jusqu'à la fin des temps. Est-ce est qu'il y a une euh, solution euh, euh, Comment euh, allons-nous à paix, à victoire, à euh, solution, à justice How Comment justice. Et si en France, il n'y aura pas de justice, il n'y a pas de justice, il ne va pas y avoir de justice. Tant qu'ils sont racistes, il n'y aura pas de justice. Euh, Tant qu'il y a le racisme, il n'y aura pas de justice. Il faut, il faut, il, il faut avoir l'égalité entre les gens. Il faut avoir l'égalité. Il faut respecter les religions, il faut respecter surtout les musulmans, parce que les musulmans ne sont pas respectés ici. Ils nous voient comme des, comme des, des, des terroristes. On n'est pas des terroristes. Voulez-vous condamner les euh, jeunes musulmans qui révoltent à, à violence, je avec condamne, violence Je condamne personne, chacun est responsable de ses actes. Merci beaucoup pour votre réponse. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate that. What's your name, your first name? Mohammed. Comme le prophète, alayhi salatu salam. Et uh, votre famille a uh, immigré à France? Ma famille vit en Algérie. Canadien. Merci. Vit en Algérie. Vive l'Algérie. Dans votre cœur, et vous Algérie ou Français à première? Vive l'Algérie jusqu'à la mort. Tahiyat Jazair. Mais monsieur, si vous nous dites je suis un Français numéro un, est-ce que vous êtes raciste On n'est pas raciste. J'ai dit et je le répète, Tahiyat Jazair, le monde appartient à tout le monde. Chaque être humain peut vivre là où il veut. Il n'y a pas de, de, de problème sur ça. On vit là où on veut. La terre appartient au bon Dieu. Et nous, on appartient au bon Dieu. On vit là où on veut. Il n'y a pas de limite. C'est bon. Tahir Jazair. You give me a lot to think about. Thank you. Is that what we have here? Do we have that this officer was doing his job? And that what we have going on is another narrative that's saying, no, 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 no. This is racism. Could this be doing, being done on purpose simply because, well, you know, we enjoy the, the spectacle that racism presents. You know, when, I'm telling you right now, if you think that this shit is organic, I'm gonna tell you right now. When I saw Black Lives Matter Japan, that's when I knew bullshit ain't nothing but chewed up grass. is going on here none of this makes sense i have no idea what we're seeing here in france i have no idea why this is happening i have no idea who's behind this but i do know that if there's a george soros out there in the world still alive he has no problem with creating chaos and he's done it before if there's a george soros out there there's somebody controlling the social discourse and the so and what is becoming the social spectacle someone is controlling it manufacturing it making it happen making you believe that it's real it's organic and oh my god the police are racist so we should probably get rid of the police <laughs> yeah well, that's that's probably the genius thing to do because the stupid thing would be to have people there to protect you if you can't protect yourself the dumb thing would be to allow people to protect themselves is what the fuck do they need to do that for? 
All right, you guys, leave some messages in the comments section. Tell me, what do you think? Do you think Lorenzo? I, I don't know. This sounds like racism to me. You know, that France is very racist. Yeah, you know. The idea is more important than the actual reality. Which could be the situation here. Maybe the idea that this young man died because of racism is more important than what could be the reality. This young man was being non-compliant. This young man is not a young man who's on the up and up. Maybe he is a bad seed. But I'm not saying that he should be dead. No, 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 I'm not saying that. But I am saying that maybe his actions led to his consequence. I'm not saying that he should be dead, but I'm saying maybe his actions led to his consequence. So how long will it be until you don't care about this case either? Because I'm trying to figure out what's all the writing going to do? What's all the destroying shit going to do for the youth in France? Are you guys, you guys must not have, you must not watch your YouTube and see what we did over here. Those cities won't be back to being flourishing areas in those particular areas that they riot and destroy. Yeah, those areas won't be back for another 20, 30 years. Is that what you guys want in France? Is what you guys are looking at? You're just saying that this is what we want too. We want to do the same thing Americans are doing. Okay. Well, I guess when people see you're a genius, they must emulate, right? And that's what we're seeing over there in France, a bunch of emulation of pure American genius. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, France, get it together. This is stupid, all right? Don't, don't do this. Don't be like us. Learn from us and don't do the things we do. Figure out a way to work this out better instead of doing this, because this is not going to help. Macron, I wish you the best. This seems like it's going to be a very uphill battle. And please don't ask America for help because we, we have no answers for you except for to put black women in charge. That's, that's our only answer for you. Let's put some black women in charge. Maybe that'll change everything. Man, maybe that's what you should do. Maybe, maybe, maybe then, you know, maybe then you'll be more American than you've ever been before. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is something you needed to know. Adam Radio. Yeah, boy!